It's a lot of work. Um, you're going to put in a lot of effort and energy. You're throwing big lures, spending a lot of time, you know, chucking at, at nothing, Chuck, with waiting for those fish to, to turn on, waiting to get on a pot of fish, and, and you're hoping ultimately to get one. And it's a fish that will humble you in the sense that you will spend a lot of time not catching in hopes of hitting that pinnacle fish. There, there's nothing like catching a big muskie. I mean, it's just one of those things that just really speaks to me, and uh, it's just an adrenaline rush that that I just absolutely love. All of a sudden, you're ripping your bait in, or you're reeling a bucktail, and that thing, you feel that line stop, and you set the hook, and it's just, it's right now. You're zero to hero. You know, your heart rate's through the roof. Your adrenaline's pumping. A lot of times they'll eat boat side right at the boat on a figure eight and you're working that fish or you see that fish come up and it's one hook and you know that that might be your one shot for, you know, maybe for hours, maybe for days, maybe for more. And that chance of landing, you know, a fish of a lifetime, of, you know, a fish of, you know, potentially many lifetimes is just a, a thrill that is hard to top. I'll let her swim towards it, see what she does. So the casting grind involving musky fishing is very, very unique and very hard. We need baits that move water. So we need baits that, that pull hard, that are bigger, and can move water, that those fish can use their lateral line sense, that senses vibration in the water, that they can feel those baits from long distances and will come from long distances to engage and, and ultimately attack those lures. When you're trying to move a quarter pound, half pound, one pound, or even pound and a half lures through the water, you know, with a lot of, 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 of uh, force, it, it's, you know, it ultimately takes a toll on your body uh, and, and it wears you out. So a big muskie to me is just, it, it's a very, it's a special fish. I mean, it, they're, they're old fish that take a long time to grow so their first priority is, is obviously to catch it and, and get that fish in the boat but also you there's also always that conservation part of it where you want to make sure you take good care of that fish because you know that fish is special and I've I've spent so many countless hours on the side of the boat you know getting your chest beat up when you're leaning over the side with your chest on the gunnel you know making sure those fish survive and, and, and do well and, and release well. Muskies are very big they're very powerful but they're also very fragile. They're actually shockingly fragile, especially in, in warmer water. Um, so when you, when you end up handling them, you fight them, they stress them out, the lactic acid builds up in their muscles, and uh, then you take them out of the water, that really throws off their equilibrium. They're not used to that. So it's a good, you always wanna take them over the side of the boat, uh, make sure that it's you know, relatively calm or you're pushing the fish into the current, not dragging them backwards. And you just really wanna hold them there. And now she's starting to wiggle. Starting to kind of want to swim away from me. I'm kind of hanging on to her a little bit. Kind of want her to more or less kick out of my hands a little bit. You know, I, I frequently, if I see fish belly up in the fisheries that are, you know, that have, are, are struggling or, or, or are starting to, you know, they're, they're on their way out because of mishandling, I, I always, you know, run over and try to grab those fish. And I, you know, throughout the year, I live well fish all the time and try to revive them, you know, and take, take a lot of time out of my days throughout the season at, at times to try to revive fish that I didn't even catch. Because like I said, I, I know that fish you know, means multiple spawning years and year classes and ultimately, you know, can grow into maybe a, a trophy fish or world record fish that can be experienced by, by so many people. I mean, anything that comes easy, you just don't take the same level of satisfaction when it goes correctly, at least for me. It, it's far more rewarding when you put the work in um, both on the water, off the water, doing your homework, when it all lines up and you get that big fish or you win that tournament, it's just, something that's so much more rewarding to me than, than anything that, that, that comes ultimately so easily.